today is July 1st, 2018, and I wanted to do a tomato profile on the Mortgage Lifter Tomato. This right here is a Mortgage Lifter. This is actually a Mortgage Lifter VFN. It is an improved strain uh, sold by uh, Southern Exposure Seed Company. So the original Mortgage Lifter is an old heirloom. It's a large pink heirloom. Whatever hybridization process they used for this specific plant, um, it produces a large red tomato. But it's supposed to be very similar to the original. Uh, as you can see, this is a very sturdy plant. This was a, a very easy to grow plant because it's single stemmed very easily and it grew upright. It's not bushy at all, especially when you compare it to the San Marzano next to it. Or the Cherokee Purple to the right. Or this Monster Brandy Boy. Um, this was a very easy plant to grow and as you can see it's been picked clean this was a late tomato this was one of the absolute last tomatoes I was able to harvest it took a very long time to grow and ripen this plant right here was absolutely loaded with fruit um, medium large to large uh, perfectly round tomatoes and then I have another mortgage lifter VFN that I grew over here uh, it is this plant right here this one grew very, very tall. Now this plant did not yield as much fruit, uh, but the fruits that it did have were gigantic. They're going to be my biggest uh, tomatoes of the year thus far. It only has a few tomatoes left on it, and because of the heat, none of my tomatoes are really setting fruit very well right now. But I wanted to give you a look at how the plants look. Very straight, easy to grow. Now I want to take you inside and we'll do a taste test. Well, these are the Mortgage Lifter Improved Tomatoes. Uh, these are some of my largest tomatoes of the year. Most of them are very round, fairly resistant to cracking. Um, the shelf life, uh, mediocre. After a couple of days, they start developing spots, um, which you can kind of see on this tomato here. Uh, most of them are, are a really nice shape, except this one kind of looks like a butt cheek, but what can you do? Um, I want to show you the size of the tomatoes that we're talking about here. This one right here. Let me reset it. This one right here is 15.85 ounces, so it's right about at the pound mark. This one is by far the largest tomato I've had this year. This is one pound, 4.65 ounces. So there you go, 20.65 uh, 20 ounces. That is a serious tomato right there. And then the others, 11.2, 11.8. So you can see most of these tomatoes are going to be in the 10 ounce, 10 to 20 ounce range. And that's a that's a rare small guy. Um, so it's a good thing that the tomatoes are so large because the plants don't set a whole lot of fruit and it takes a really long time for you to get fruit out of them. So now for the most important part, I want to see what these things taste like because it was a very long wait waiting for these. Let me show you what the inside of these looks like. So there you go, it's a pretty meaty tomato. It doesn't have the deepest red texture to it, which has me a little bit nervous about what the flavor is going to be like. Um, it's starting to get bad spots on it, so that means that it's ripe. Nope, well, here goes nothing. Um, it has a nice tomato flavor, but it's not very strong. It has a pretty high water content to it, so that kind of drowns out the flavor a little bit. Hmm. The skin is crunchy. It's very mild. It's not that acidic. Um, overall, it's not bad, but honestly, it tastes like one of the very best supermarket tomatoes you've ever had in your life. Um, yeah, it's, it's very mild, it's very juicy, it just doesn't have that acidic bite that I like. 
Um, there's nothing about this tomato uh, that's jumping out at me. Uh, judging by how long it takes to get the fruits and how many that you get, I mean, they were really nice tomato plants to grow in, in the fact that they didn't bush out and they were very easy to manage and they're very resistant to disease. But these, these are pretty mediocre tomatoes. I mean, I do like them, don't get me wrong, but I like every tomato. This is not one that I'd recommend, at least in my climate of a humid subtropical zone 8 in southeastern North Carolina. Maybe they'd come out better elsewhere. But these are nice to grow for size. If you have trouble with disease and you want really large tomatoes, they might be an option for you. But in terms of uh, flavorful, acidic, or sweet, uh, these, these don't really have it. If you found this video helpful at all, please feel free to subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate it. Like, comment, share the videos. Thanks a lot for watching, everybody.